everyone. Welcome to the 30 day photo challenge, April 2021 edition. My name is Elsie Kifuengare and I'm a Kenyan photographer based in the UK. So for the whole month of April, I'll be sharing with you photo stories from BIPOC women photographers and we have one with us now. Would you like to introduce yourself? <laughs> Hi, I'm Regina Montgomery. I am a portrait and documentary photographer from Chicago, Illinois. Ooh, thank you for joining us, Regina. So why don't you talk us through the photos you're sharing with us today? Okay, so um, a little backstory. When I take portraits, I like to get as much personality of my subject as I can uh, through the portrait. So for my 40th birthday, um, I had a very small impromptu party and I had my camera with me. It was one of my smaller cameras. And as the guests started to arrive, uh, when they were saying their hellos to everyone as they came in, I pulled them to the side as they hugged me in and told me happy birthday. And I set them in a corner and asked them to just take a quick picture so we can remember the day. And I wanted these pictures to be um, as a surprise because I'm a photographer, so they knew I was gonna have my camera. So they knew they were going to take pictures, but they didn't know that they would be taking individual portraits. So these pictures to me um, are raw and it really just gives the, the personality of the person behind the portrait. So the first portrait is actually of my mom and uh, she came, um, she was there a little late. So <laughs> as moms do. <laughs> yeah. So when she came in, um, she, you know, did, oh, I'm not ready to take a picture. I'm not ready to take a picture. But as soon as she sat down, she popped a pose and was uh, ready. So that's part of her personality. <laughs> the second um, picture. It's actually of one of my oldest cousins and his wife that I very rarely get to see. So I was really surprised, sorry about that, that um, I was really surprised that he actually showed up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so I knew, I knew I wanted to get a picture of them. Um, yeah, it's like I missed him so much and I was just so surprised to see him and I was just like, hey, come on, hurry up, take a picture. And he actually came in right as the party was getting ready to end. So it's one of the last pictures of the night. And the next portrait is of my dad who actually talked me into celebrating my 40th birthday along with my husband because I didn't want to. Mm -hmm. And the personality behind my dad is really cool calm character and I think this portrait really represents that of him. With photography it's always about documenting stuff that happens around us and oh, having oh, those memories. Yeah. Mm -hmm. These photographs even though they're planned they're not necessarily planned in a sense. Right. Do, you, do you understand where I'm going with that? Right because when I knew I was going to take pictures of the, the guests at my party but I also wanted to kind of enjoy the party mm -hmm. so as as the guests started coming in there was this empty stool and I'm like oh come right here take this picture right quick and it just became the photo spot when guests came in and to me when you look at these portraits you don't even necessarily know they're from a party which makes them even more special to me mm. and that's the whole point of it right because every every photo people take even though they don't look like what you expect them to be when somebody mm -hmm telling the story behind the photographs and then you're like oh okay is that why you took that photograph it suddenly, it suddenly starts making sense because I a person looking in from the outside I look at the photographs and I'm like oh they're just street portraits there could be anyone you could have probably right. picked a spot on the street with a nice white wall with nice lighting coming in and just decided to photograph strangers but this so happens to be like your family members right right yeah, um, especially um, there's a couple of other uh, portraits in this series of, of guests who came to the party who I weren't expecting. So mm. uh, I actually have these pictures because I have a photo wall in my house just full of uh, family portraits. And I have these portraits in the center of it all in black and white, um, you know, just showing a special moment in my life. People who came together to celebrate my birthday, but I got these little what I want to call personality portraits from them. Mm. 
And I love, I love the sense about them, you know, because you can always tell a story like this is for your 40th birthday, right? But they have mm. other layered stories behind them, right? Like the way you said your cousin, you've never seen your cousin for so long, but he turned up. You could even wonder, you could even ask him, like, what made you come to my birthday <laughs> of all days that I was doing mm -hmm. this thing and documenting my life, right? Uh, and celebrating right. my life. So oh, did you get to ask him that question? Like, what happened? <laughs> well, I asked him and he was like, oh, he called me because even though he's the oldest cousin, oh, because I heard it was a special birthday, I had to show up. And I was like, oh, thank you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I didn't even know he knew about the party since it was so last minute. Yeah. And we posted it on social media and he doesn't even have social media. So mm. that made it even more special. Like it just got around to him word of mouth and yeah. he showed up. Yeah. Which is another yeah. thing. It makes it makes those photographs really, really special to you, right? And the stories behind yeah. them. And you can always share these stories with other family members who weren't able to come or even with your kids later on, right? When like you're flipping mm -hmm. through that family album, which you don't do anymore, <laughs> right? <laughs> well, uh, I actually, my parents right? really, my parents had photo albums and they just gave it's them to so me for my birthday right? one year. And uh, that's how so I got into photography. Yeah. From yeah. wanting to just continue what my dad was doing. And one day I'll get to it. I um, have a folder on my computer called okay, Family Yearbook. And I have my kids' um, photos in there, yeah. and no, I'm gonna first, get around to making a yearbook for them. I just don't know when. <laughs> I was actually th th that was my follow-up question. Like, um, do you think do you see this project being a photo book? <laughs> um, I eventually want to get around to uh, photographing all the members of my family. Just a quick snapshot that's not like as part of a party. Um, and use it as part of our family tree. Mm. It's just, um, as you know, with things with COVID, it's kind of hard, uh, but it's always been in the back of my mind just to take um, individual portraits and then family portraits and then a big family portrait, like from a family reunion or something. Yeah. Uh, I wanted it to happen last year. It may not happen this year, but I know it's going to happen soon. Thank you so much for sharing your photos with us. Um, so this next section is a fire question round. I thought it would be a fun way to ask you photography related questions. So oh. just pick the first one that comes to mind. <laughs> Are you okay. ready? I'm ready. You're ready. Okay, let's go. Fixed lens or telephoto? Oh, fix. Lightroom or Photoshop? Lightroom. Uh, color or black and white? Oh, color, even though I just showed a bunch of black and white. <laughs> <laughs> okay, DSLR or mirrorless? Mirrorless. And film or digital? Uh, digital. Digital. Cool. Yeah, yeah the, digital. I, I was waiting to see what you're going to say about the <laughs> color of black and white because you just showed <laughs> a black and white oh, series. Right. And, you know, and I struggled because I had a couple of series of my kids that are in color that I wanted to show. But then I remembered this and I was like, oh, it's cool. It's black and white. It looks documentary so I can tell a real story about it. Mm. But um, yeah, my preference would be in color because um, to me, it um, to me, a color picture, you can travel your eye around it, whereas a black and white picture, you concentrate on the tones. Mm. And the subject matter, right? And the subject matter. But with yeah. a, a color portrait, you're going to like, oh, oh, and a color, the color can actually tell the story within the photo. So mm, yeah, I kind of, yeah, I drift towards um, more vibrant colors when I do take a color photo. <laughs> That's fair enough. We could, we could have just said both. <laughs> that was the other yeah. option for all of them, <laughs> all right, which I don't tell people to, to say. <laughs> Honestly, I would say both for all of them. That's what I've been telling people, but I don't give that option. No. I just want you to pick one. <laughs> and Which honestly, the reason the reason those pictures are in black and white is because where they were taken, it was a big yellow wall. Yeah. And it, it looked like mustard. And I was like, oh, this looks kind of bad against everybody's skin tone. So mm. I converted them into black and white and I love them. Yeah. 
it they look really really good and was it were they shot outside as in like out, mm. in, indoors with it's actually in the um indoors it's a basement and they I didn't bring an extra light or anything it's one like recessed light in the um ceiling of the basement mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I just had them uh, sit under that light and since the floor was white it bounced the light back up on them so oh wow it was perfect yeah it worked out perfect because it looks like the it, the lighting was staged and also if not indoor lighting it looks like outside on bright sunlight so the lighting is so it works really really well and the way you've edited the photos they make them really stand out so thank good job so on that thank you yeah anyway thank you again uh, regina for sharing with us your amazing work so please be sure to follow regina i'll leave all her details in the description bar below and until next time see you later bye bye <laughs>